Hi, welcome to Emilsmith.com. Today I'm going to show you how to determine what your maximum threshold for pressure is with your hand loads. You're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a set of calipers. You're going to want to get some factory ammunition of the same brass manufacturer that you're using, say Federal or Winchester. And what this will do is we'll I'll show you how to measure your case after firing to determine whether or not you're you're approaching or exceeding your maximum pressure. So let's get started. Okay. And this is how it's done. What we want to do and these cases are, are have been hand loaded, so this is for instructional purposes only here. What you want to do once you fire a case out of your rifle from factory ammunition is fire two or three and put it to the side. And you're going to see down here your pressure band. Now this is where we're going to take our measurement. Don't worry about overall length. We want to see is the expansion of the web of the case here. And you're going to compare that to your hand load from your starting load to your uh, the load that you've load tuned to your rifle. This way we can determine whether or not you're exceeding your maximum allowable pressure. Now the reason why we do this is all factory ammunition are made to within SAAMI specifications and in your rifle that case will expand to a certain point and then you don't want your hand loads to exceed that so you want to be at or just below the measurement you take off the expansion ring on your rifle case so let's go ahead and measure one and see what we come up with okay we're going to use our calipers. We want to make sure they're zeroed, which these are. And we want to measure where this little pressure ring is here. And the rule is with what you're doing is this. You want to make sure that the brass you're measuring is, first of all, is factory made and fired out of your rifle. You don't want to pick up a piece of brass off the range that was fired from somebody else's rifle because their chamber is different than yours it doesn't make a difference it was cut from the same reamer there's always a little bit of a difference and the reason why you want to do this is you want to use that factory ammo as your control as your baseline for all your hand loads so from these two here both these were hand loads of mine but we're using this as an example so we're going to use this one and compare it to this one Okay. So we're going to say this is the factory one. You want to record this whether or not you are measuring a federal gold medal match or a Winchester um, Supreme loading or a Hornady light magnum load. You want to make sure that what you're measuring is going to be your baseline and your control for your hand loads. And throw this into your die box or put it into your logbook for your rifle. Okay, so here I'm getting a measurement of point four seven four inches across the, the pressure band here. So point four seven four is going to be our control. You want to probably measure two or three of these and take the average in that way you can go from here. So we know from that point, 0.474 is the pressure point you do not want to exceed. If you're measuring like 0.475, you're okay. If you're getting like 0.476 or 0.477, you're talking a lot of excessive pressure there. Probably about 1,500 to 2,000 pounds per square inch more than what was exerted on this case here. And so on this one, we're going to measure it at the exact same point. And I'm getting a measurement of 0 0.470. So according to this estimate from this case here, we're well within our standard of limit. So this is a perfectly fine load that's not exceeding allowable pressure that was factory tested at the manufacturer. All the ammunition that comes from the manufacturer are always tested their lots 
are tested in a pressure test barrel and that tells them whether or not the, the lot number of the powder they're using is exceeding the allowable pressure that has been um, set forth in, from SAAMI on, on their pressure limits. So if you go from this measurement here and you don't exceed it, your pressure is fine. It doesn't mean you can't ex you won't exceed it at some point. You just got to know that this is the limit and once you cross that you're heading into dangerous territory. One other thing, um, you're going to get an inaccurate reading if you take say this is a federal brass and you shoot a hand load out of some Winchester brass. That's why it's a good idea to use factory ammunition made from the brass that you're actually loading in. So make sure that your components, at least the brass, add up on your measurement. Uh, and military brass, same thing. If you're going to reload a bunch of Lake City brass that you picked up at the range, try to get two or three rounds of factory uh, military brass from that same company, whether it's Lake City or WCC. It makes no difference. But as long as you have a baseline, remember that control sample so that you can absolutely be sure that you're not going to exceed that. And also it's nice too if you buy a box of Federal Match as your control just to see how well it shoots on paper at 100 yards or 100 meters, whatever you're shooting at. That way you can compare that to your hand load. And I guarantee you if you do everything right on the bench, it's really going to show up downrange on your groups.